Because we all toxic. What do you feel are some of your toxic traits when you're in a relationship or even just as an individual? You already know. Simply show, simply Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Michelle. If you clicked on this video, why not subscribe? I promise you it's a vibe. If you rock with me, I rock with you, which means we locked in for life and that's on period. Welcome back to my channel. Y'all already know my mom is back on the scene. Hello everyone out there. My name is Sandy, also known as Sandy B. And in today's video, we're just going to do a little seafood mukbang to spur the moment. I was like, Mom, let's just make some seafood, but we got a little dilemma. We kind of have seafood boil in it because we only have shrimp. What else we got? Potatoes, corn on cob, and some and sausages. Some sausages and some shrimp. You're technically supposed to have eggs because a true mukbanger eats eggs. Can y'all tell her that? Well, guess what? I guess I'm not a true mukbanger or whatever. I don't do eggs. Don't knock it to try it. But anyway, so we don't have the crab legs because the crab legs that I saw at the seafood place today, they look like they wasn't fully developed. They were baby. They were screwing I'm not they paying $25 for a pound. We got to get the king. So we Period. Gonna, we're going to order them today. Hey, we're going to eat because we hungry right now. What you waiting for? You, you got more sauce shirt? in yours right there. I don't have no sauce in mine. I want to show them. I'm not a mukbang. I don't have enough for seafood. Mine's is dry. I've made those shrimps. I sold mm, them in my wallet. Mmm. Mmm. And I'll tell you. Mmm. Fresh. The flavor. Let me get some. Mmm. Mm. Mm. You want to cheers it up? You know what you're looking at. You know what my legs right now. You, yeah, you I know, know what at. I don't know what I'm looking at. Right These lights is making my forehead mad hot right now. I'm mm. always hot. We're all hungry. I'm I hope sorry. you are doing good today. They said bring me back on the channel. I brought you back on the channel, so I want to see this video. Tell them to run if you like up. I got a bottle. Run up, bottle, bottle. You got anything you want to talk about specifically, or you just want to just... You just don't want it. You know what? I got an issue. And, I, and, and it's really bothering me. Mm. I really don't like talking with food in my mouth because I was choked. That's how they do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. Wait, hold on. They be like... I wasn't raised like that, so I ain't trying to be like that. I'm being me. You know what's weird? Growing up, like my mom said, mm -hmm. we always chew with our mouth closed. And also, never put your elbows on the table. Mm. If my mom or my grandma saw us put our elbows on the table, they like... Hi, pal. Right. So... As I got older and I started watching YouTube, and I came across mukbangers, and I seen them smacking. My satisfying. You can't lie. When let me we watch, so I watch. Baby, listen. I showed you B loves life, and she be eating them crab legs and she be chomping. Don't it make you want to eat with her? No. The food looks good, but you know, all that juice running down your. I love it. Make it drip. No. Make it dribble. That's not the way I was. I'm gonna drop my potato. See, that's what you get, cause that's not the way I was raised. I'm yeah. sorry. Two inches on. Y'all go ahead. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this book, book, whatever you call it. Mukbang, mom. Mukbang, book bag, book bag, mukbang or mukbang. Book bag. Mom. Mukbang. Mukbang. Book bag. Make book. Book. Forget it. Book bag. Forget we it. have a food bag. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay. So, what I'm gonna say? I'm gonna I'm tell you what. I'm gonna tell you. What I did? I just spit out your mouth. See, I told him I can't talk. Can't talk and, and eat. This cyberbullying must stop. Don't appreciate how these young children, and I'm talking about third and fourth grade, mm -hmm. on the internet, cyberbullying. One that has children need to monitor what mm -hmm. their children are doing. You need to really look, check, know their passwords, see who they're talking to. You have some children that are eight or nine years old that are talking to teenagers. Mm -mm. Or grown men. I agree with that. Me as a parent with young children coming up in school, mm -hmm. I do know that children are mean. I mean, I've been through certain things in my life when I was in school. I definitely relate. And I do feel like it starts at home. This generation is just way worse than when I was coming up. Mm -hmm. Because of technology where you can communicate and people can make pages and stuff like that. And it should be more awareness. Again, I'm a parent. And... Children are mean. It's just, it's just disgusting. Some of the stories that I hear. 
and people that I know that are going through this with their, with their children mm -hmm. that are just starting middle school. Not for nothing, you know, this, they're, they're going to middle school and, you know, to new school, being picked on, and it, it's just, it has to stop. Because you know what? Suicide is serious, and a lot of children really go that far. Like, they can't take it, they, they're afraid a to lot tell of, their parents. A lot of children, a lot of children suffer in silence. Yeah, but exactly. It's our job as parents to check in with our children. Exactly. Because I get it, sometimes parents are very busy, their lifestyles, their job. And you know, although your child is talking, eating, and like doing their regular routine, sometimes they're suffering in silence and mm -hmm. you may not see signs. And then it, sometimes it's too late. It's very important to be mindful and pay attention because like we said, bullying is a big deal. And listen, you play with mine, Dot, 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 We don't leave it like that. Hey, you drink before me. I'm sorry, but I'm thirsty. And you know, we, we, even pray. we did not, I swear, I was just we about to say that. Bless the food, Father God. Father God, we thank you for this wonderful meal that we have. We ask that you bless the person who prepared this meal. Continue to watch over each and every one of my family members and my friends. Thank you, Lord, for all the things you have done and the things that you are going to do in our lives. We praise you and we love you in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Now we can cheer. Yeah, I, I'm, I'll never eat. Yeah, now we're so hungry. That's what it's I never so eat without blessing my food. And, and blessing? It's something about soda when you eat seafood. Oh, uh, Pepsi used to. Pepsi. Oh, she, I had used an to drink. That. I used to drink two two liters of Pepsi a day. Mm hmm A day. A day. Like, I had it so bad, and then I don't know. Something just came over me. I, I, what happened? Way, I don't know. You didn't try the um, sausage. Yeah, I loved it. You did? Mmm. That's turkey, right? Yeah. Oh, mm. like, yeah, but this beef from the good shit. And that's all. It's called kabasa. It's very good. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Mm. The flavor. The smoke. Mmm. Anyway. So. Let's talk about relationship. Mm-hmm. So let me ask you something. Uh-oh. Yeah. The last time you was on the channel, you know, we were talking about you being single and this, that, and the third. You wanted to start dating, but then you changed your mind. And we don't want to talk about relationship. So you've been single for a while now. Do you feel like you're single because you're not right with them? But yeah, let me ask you this. Because <laughs> we all are toxic. I feel like everybody has toxic traits. Of course. What do you feel are some of your toxic traits when you're in a relationship or even just as an individual? Do you feel like there's certain things about you that make you real toxic? You already know. Anger. Hmm. But what do you, so, so your mouth is definitely. It's a deadly weapon. But my hands is nicer. I don't play no game. I wait, knock wait. The block off. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So my you mean to tell me mm. I'm getting pit pads right now? <laughs> so my underarms are wet, y'all. You stop. So your issue in a relationship is you get angry fast. You feel like you argue over petty stuff. Mm. Is it the principle, or you just let stuff accumulate and then that's when you blow up? I don't even let it get to that. Cause see. First of all, I don't let nothing pile up. I, I nip it in the bud. I'm not gonna let, if somebody does something that I don't like, if you do something that upsets me and I feel my rage is finna come, I'm gonna nip it in the bud. I'm gonna say, listen, boo, whatever I call, whoever, whatever that I'm seeing, I'm gonna say X, Y, Z. I don't like this, but I'm letting you know up front what I want, what I expect, and that's it. You break one of those cardinal rules, deuces. Bye. When does the hands start popping? The off? hands pop off when you listen. So 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 you so, so you uh, so you abuser. I'm not an abuser. I was abused, and that's probably why I'm so angry now. I feel like a lot of times when mm. women, even men, have been through such a toxic relationship for many many years, and you have tolerated so much mm. from the relationship for whatever it was because of your children or because you were afraid to leave. Now you look at men in a different light and now you just you're either afraid to date again or you just have a whole bunch of anger for the next person the cycle needs to break because not everybody's the same way like your last relationship but it, for me it's trust like i feel like i have trust issues you well, know i have trust issues when i say trust issues i don't mean like you're gonna cheat on me i mean i have trust issues opening up to somebody because i feel like when i'm when i open up mm -hmm. i become vulnerable mm -hmm. and when you become vulnerable then they they kind of prey on that sometimes. Of course, they use that. They use it. You know issue. what I'm saying? That, that that's their power. Like I said, I'm single by my choice. I'm not ready to be in a relationship. You want to know the main reason? Because I'm working on myself. Mm -hmm. There's work that I need to do for myself because of my past relationships, 
especially the, 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 the one that was so abusive. Even though it's been many, many years ago, believe it or not, I can be seeing an individual and they can say something or act a certain way and it'll trigger. And it's been a very long time. That's so That's serious trauma. trauma. So it, I'm not afraid that another man is going to do that to me. It's just that I need to work on me. I don't know. As I'm older that I'm getting, it seems like the anger is starting to surface even more. It doesn't take a lot for me to pop off. You know what it is? Even in a grocery store. Everybody has a story, right? The anger is pent up and suppress feelings about certain things mm -hmm. that we have went through. And sometimes we just have to like mow through it because it's life. It's just like, you can't just wallow about something that happened. So we go through so many different life situations that it starts to pile up. And we don't even know that we have all that hurt until we are triggered. Yep. Until we face a situation that makes us kick up a whole bunch of feelings that we thought we got over. Mm -hmm. And then it resurfaces. I feel like for you, you have a lot of healing to do. Mm -hmm. As for myself, I feel like we all can use a little bit of healing. There's no time limit for healing. I feel like my toxic trait would be getting like revenge. So I'm somebody who feels like if you hurt me, I want you to feel exactly how I feel. And I know that's bad because you kind of have to be a bigger person to say, you know what, this person did this, I wish you all the best. When I feel like I'm disrespected, it's a different type of feeling mm. for me. I, I feel like it's disrespect and betrayal. Mm -hmm. I have a very big thing with betrayal and that stems from certain things in my younger years. Mm -hmm. So we're not gonna get all too deep into that, but I feel like my toxic trait is getting revenge and my mouth is very powerful. She cursed me. But my mom always told me and always taught me that speak your mind. like. Speak your truth. And sometimes people are not built for that, what you about to tell them. Much like me, we are definitely twins. We really she are. She has, um, unfortunately, my my anger, she has that part. She has a, my, my anger and my short fuse, but she also has the good part. Of, she's a better version of me with the good part because she will literally take the shirt off her back and give it to someone in the street. Proud of her, but... For me, like I said, when I'm ready, like I said, I'm working on myself. Thanks be to God because, you know, church with COVID, not being able to go to church, not being active in the church like I was. I was literally on five different ministries. I was at the church four days out the week. That was satisfaction for me. I was satisfied with just doing all the things that I was doing for the, for the goodness of the Lord. And when COVID hit and then all my knee surgeries and being stuck in the house, not able to get around. Mm -hmm. It's just overwhelming. Who had time for a relationship with all that? Honestly, that so, was the best time to be laid up around the COVID season. That's why all them babies was be, being made. Ain't no babies coming up out here. Yeah. My shop is shut down. They know the situation. Even if it wasn't shut down, we got. Oh, I'm done. We got tree. We good. I'm done, but I'm just saying. You're pretty down ass. There. I got it from me. Your light brown and milk chocolate, they turn color today. I did? You, you had a light milk chocolate brown, that real light. For real? That means you're happy. Are you gassing it? On everything I love. Look, if you look in the mirror right now, you'll see your eyes look like milk chocolate. A little rubbery piece. <laughs> Might be rubber in it. Spit it out. Look at it. Is it gristle? I'm turned, turned off. off. <laughs> Jinx again. Basically, I'm almost shrunk. There's more in the pot out there. I didn't put a lot in the When you're content with yourself, then you don't really feel like you need anybody. A lot of people aren't content with themselves, so that's why they look for a companion, another individual to fulfill that mm -hmm. emptiness that they're feeling. Learning along my journey now, at 35 years old, I'm learning that I'm never alone because I have God in my life. No matter what it is I'm Amen. going through, He's going to provide and I can always go to Him. My God forgives me for everything. My life is simple. If I'm not with my best friend, my grandchildren, I'm home watching Netflix. Or she's at the doll store right. because she's the doll store queen and she buys plug-ins and cleaning stuff all day. I love to day. clean. Okay. Yeah, I love to clean. I'm changing my curtains. She I'm has changing a bad. my room around. Bed spreads is another uh, bad thing for me. I opened the closet the other day. You have a bad mom. And I have like 15 or 16, excuse me. Don't you start choking no. now. It was a burp. 15 or 16 bed spreads. Like, and I, and I want another one. I saw one in the store the other day. I'm like, I gotta get it. Bedroom is my palace. That's my, that's my... I know. Safe Haven, I have an altar in my bedroom. I'm actually, when I drop a video again. Yeah, when you drop it. And this is not an excuse, let's keep it, I keep it real. Cause I'm a real individual. The reason why, two, that I haven't dropped. One, I don't know how to edit. Two, my computer that I have is not compatible to the app that I need to actually do the video. It's gonna take me a little time. I can't expect from my daughter Simply, she does her own videos and edits everything by herself. That's a lot of work. I see her. 
once I learn how to edit and I get my own computer, then I'm gonna do it. So just, I need a little more time. Sound in my tooth. Like you brushing. Stop. You know what I hate? I'm full. When people will have dead be talking to you, you'll have a oh. conversation, right? I'm just kiki and ha ha and, and you got something in your damn tooth or or the lip gloss be white. You know when you put lip gloss on and it be white right here? Mm. Or somebody got a bug in their nose, they have dead ass be no, looking at it. Like just tell me I got or something. Or you got an eye jammy. Oh, a eye eye jammy. So they be looking at it but they don't say nothing. Your friend I'm say, yo, get that. I need to get that, mom. Get that right there. Or get that big, it's big, especially if it's a big booger, like one of them real big ones. See, I'm done eating, I'm done. <laughs> no, I can't stand that. Because no, people are disrespectful. That's what I'm talking about. Up. That's why I don't wear lip gloss, because it kicks up. Lip, you know this, what it this is? don't come off for 25 No, hours. but it's not even that. It's some, It's a certain lip glosses. They be them cheap dollar store ones. It's mm -hmm. the thick one, and I guess the, it rubs. And I here, tell you all the time, if I see a baby, wipe your mouth, don't I? I've said it to you. You got a piece of coal right there. Where? Get it. You are lying and cheating. Why are you lying like that? <laughs> Come on now, you do too much. We got dessert. Uh-uh, nah, I'm on a diet. Come on, baby. Why are you always on a diet? Michelle, I got 15 pounds. See, this is why stop. I can't hang out with her. She talking about she on Listen. a diet. There you go again. I need another one that's not working. I told you about smoking them things on my channel. Y'all need to get on her. Okay, but Yo, no, 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 no. But I'm so proud. Oh, that's fire. Isn't it cute? Oh, I love the presentation. I just got this lyric, though. Isn't that beautiful? No, she gave it to me. I'm a lip gloss queen, y'all. My lip gloss always be, gotta be popping. Yeah, she is. I'm, you know, you've been like that since. I have school. an addiction with lip gloss and candles. You got the candles from me. No, I didn't. Yeah, yes, you did. Your you lip into no candles. Use a lot because I've been loving my smell. But your mother, and I always burn candles since you was. You was, mom. You a lot of cheek. You already know I'm the candle. My house smell like everything. You stand in my outside my front. My Let me tell you about her. You, you can smell the entire. Mm -hmm. My house is. Smells if you want to get a migraine, you ain't gonna get a go migraine. to my mom's house because she her plugins are in every room and they're too strong. First of all, they're for breeze or it's too strong though, mom. You be and choking me. I can't and breathe. When you come, I take it out or I'll turn it down See, because my neighbor they was cooking flamingos. Pigeons. She said they was cooking pigeons. They eat pigeons. They eat. This is a PG okay. channel uplifting I didn't use any spiritual PG uplifting I and high the lifestyle. Name of Jesus. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. I See, just repent. You're showing your toxic traits right now. I'm not toxic. I'm just 100. And you're violent. I'm not violent. I'm angry. Oh. Yeah, but see, she's about to blow up something else. Oh, y'all not gonna believe this. What you about to tell them, Mom? I'm gonna tell y'all a story, and this is. When was this? Put me on, because I don't even know what okay. she's about to say. I'm gonna tell y'all what happened. I was in a car accident several years ago. I had three major neck surgeries. Two in front, the one in the back is really bad scar. Long story short, and my neighbor, we had a long driveway, whatever the case may be. I don't know what happened, but him and his significant other got into it. She came running to my house to help her because he was beating her. And she was my friend. So she came to my house and she's crying. We had kids together. Long story short, here come my neighbor. Now I've known this man all my life. We played in a sandbox together. He got me by about four years. Mm -hmm. Big, brolic, strong. I'm more petite, whatever. Just had neck surgery. He bangs on my basement door mm. and I wouldn't open it. Finally, I said, I got this. Cause I didn't think that he was gonna react. I opened the door and he's yelling for my, his baby mama to come outside. I said, no. You know, can you leave right now? She's she's upset. Somehow, some way, she went outside after I told her not to. I went upstairs to get something, my cigarettes. She opens the back door. He's dragging her into the car, right here. So I go over to him. I'm like, yo, why are you doing that? Next thing I know, we start arguing, and I turn around. This fool, mm. and my back is to him. Sucker punched me, but guess what he did? He hit me so hard right in the back where I had neck surgery. It knocked me out, everything went black. I didn't hit the ground because the car is where I landed. This one saw it, ran outside with the biggest butcher knife that I had in the house. I was about to catch a case. It was really we bad. We both was finical. We was about to go down, for real. That us. was the worst pain that I, I just, I think it hurt me more that it was somebody that was that like you a know. brother to me. Yeah. That could, and he knew I had surgery, but he hit me so hard. And I'm talking about this guy was, Big yeah, I don't stuff. respect a man that puts their hand on a woman. Yeah, I have no. Let me tell you like, something. Come on. Any man that puts their hand on a woman, you are not a man. You mm -hmm. are a little.
boy, you can't stand it because I am a survivor. No, that we was going to jail. You, I, no, I was wait, like, wait, when did they come and get us? They called us. They asked us to come they in. They asked us to come in to the station and whatever. Then we got in there. We thought it was just going to be talking. Next thing they know, they got me doing a mugshot. I'm not even prepared. I didn't have no lip gloss on. My hair wasn't done. And I'm like, yo, am I really getting arrested right now? You was now? like 15. I was like 15 years old. 15 or 16. 15 or 16. They fingerprinted me. They All took my that. picture. Everything. And then we had to go to court for like, literally like six oh my months. Oh God. Longer than that. It was almost a year. The freaking DA was trying to give us time for they, nothing. For, I didn't even listen, do anything. Listen, mind you. He assaulted me. Wait, let's back up. Yeah, I did. You, you did. I got in a car. You tried to run him over. I banged you his car. You put it on full force. I banged into his car, went off. She really needs to start her channel because she has so many stories. Like her life, she definitely could write a book because of everything she's been through. It's, it's never a dull moment over here with my mom. But you know, for me, and because of the past, what I've been through, it made me who I am today. Mm -hmm. I, I came a long way. I love the fact that we can sit and do videos because a lot of people don't have you know, a parent that they can, um, you know, have such a relationship with. And me and my mom's story, maybe one day we'll talk about it, has not always been what you guys see, but the fact that God mm. came in and took over and mended our broken hearts or whatever it is that try to separate us from each other, God has the final say and, and we're thick as thieves. And so I'm grateful and that's why, I, you know, I love to have my mom on the channel. What you guys see right now is what it is off the camera. We're always together. So it's not just always for hard. content. This is reality. So being that you guys love my mom and you love her energy, yeah. I figure I'll bring her on the channel. So that's pretty much it. We going, we get, you got anything else going on? <laughs> so I gotta brush my teeth. Yeah, I could eat and that's not fishy. Comment down below if you want my Sandy B back. If you want Sandy B back, what should they say in the comment section, mom? Sandy B come on back. Baby. Baby. Make sure you get this video a thumbs up. You gotta subscribe and hit that notification so you know each time she drops another vid. So if you're not subscribed to It's Me Sandy B, that's my mom's channel. I'll be sure to link it in my description down below. All you gotta do is click it, hit that subscribe button. With that being said, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video. Simply show, simply